world and all the problems in your life, you ain't going to be happy. It's easy in the world that we live in today to be consumed by all the media filled negativity in the world. You can't turn on the TV without seeing some negative story, all the bad. Everyone has problems. The difference between the people who are happy and the people that ain't is that the people that are happy choose to focus on the solutions to the problems they face rather than the problems themselves. You always have a choice. Amazing things happen when you believe you have something. Your brain actively goes out to make it happen. It starts to notice little subtle opportunities that you would have otherwise deleted because it knows it's got a job to do to get you what you want. It's all about perspective. Constantly tell yourself how much worse things could be and you can actually be thankful for the way you've got things at the moment. Your world and your life can truly be anything you make it, but you've got to make it. Don't take it lightly. Start building discipline into your life by not taking the easy way out. Most of us are told growing up that we can be anything we want to be. And most of us hear it, but we don't listen. We don't believe it. I'm here to tell you today that it ain't a load of rubbish. It's true. You can be who you want to be. You can do what you want to do. See what you want to see. It's all in your power and no one else's. But you've got to believe it. If you believe it, you can achieve it, baby. Whatever it is, I used to believe to my core that I was going to run my own company and make more money than I currently did and have a family and be happy. Even when I was dead broke, skint as a bean, I would never worry because I believed with everything in me that I could change it. You gotta stare all that in the face and say, you can't beat me, I'm too strong. What most people do is they roll over, but you can't. It ain't gonna be easy. Most of the time you're gonna feel like there's no way out, that you can't do it. But listen to me when I say there is always hope. You have to take control and attack it head on. Because as soon as you do this, just once, just like a muscle lifting weights, you become stronger. You become comfortable being uncomfortable. And before you know it, you become a machine and nothing, nothing on the outside can affect you because your mind is trying to beat it down. Never run, always fight. Take control of your life and you'll change it forever. Go get in shape. Go tell that person how you feel. Go start that business. Go leave that job. Go leave that abusive relationship. Deep down you know you should do it, but you've got to risk it all. Not doing it definitely guarantees one thing, that you'll get to the end of your life and regret that you didn't even try. You can either be a victim of your life or the master of it, but the choice is always yours. Go out and get it. Don't take no for an answer. If you get knocked down, get back up again. You can never fail if you never give in. Stop being a victim. Stop letting life push you around and start fighting back. Because the minute you tell yourself that you control this is the minute you can start to change it. It all starts the moment you take responsibility and say to yourself, I can make out of this life what I want and no one and nothing is going to shape my destiny but me. I'm here to tell you today that you can have anything you want, be anyone you want, believe that you can do it and work hard to get it and it's yours. Never wait and see to believe it. Believe it and you'll see it. I remember years ago when the alarm used to go off in the morning, the first thing I did was roll over and hit the snooze button. In that instant where you have a choice, a choice to either hit the snooze button and go back to sleep in your nice, warm, fluffy, cosy bed or open your eyes and get out of bed. That's a choice that takes discipline. Now I didn't have any discipline. I always took the easy route, the road that was more comfortable. The problem is when you make this decision, because it's the first decision that you make literally the second you wake up, you are letting yourself off the hook. You are literally training your mind to take the easy way out throughout the whole day, which in turn leads to you taking the easy way out the whole month, all year. 
Discipline is not something that any of us are born with. It's a muscle that we have to train. And I don't care what anyone says, it all starts that first second. How you start your day and that decision that you make in that instant isn't as small as just getting up a bed or not. It's a decision that can shake the rest of your fucking life. This ain't some motivational, inspirational bullshit. This is the truth. When I was younger, I dreamed that one day I'd get a job that paid me 50 grand a year. That, for a boy where I come from, was a dream come true. If you told me back then that I'd be running a seven figure company and building a business of my own, I would have laughed in your face. It wasn't until I started to believe that I and I alone could shape my world that I started achieving anything I wanted to. That little decision in the morning, if you open your eyes and get out of bed, the next decision you face that day, you're gonna now be disciplined to not take the easy way out. People don't realize it, but that bed can basically represent your entire life. If you stay in that bed, you're literally staying in your comfort zone, which means your day will be spent in your comfort zone, and your month, your year, and before you know it, you spent your whole life in your comfort zone, never pushing yourself to new heights, never trying anything new, taking risks, moving forward. It all starts in that first second of your day. So don't take it lightly. Start building discipline. It's something I started doing and it helped me massively. It ain't easy, but it's worth it. One of the worst phrases we've ever created was, you gotta see it to believe it. It's a phrase created by cynical people with small minds that have not got any hope that things can get better. Can you imagine what the world would be like if everyone believed that this was true? We'd have no cars, no planes, no light in the dark. We'd never have computers or mobile phones. We'd never climb mountains, break records, or go to the moon. I used to believe this rubbish. People have it completely the wrong way round. Nothing can be achieved, conceived until first it's believed. You have to believe it to see it. If there's something that you want to do with your life, that thing deep inside you that whispers day and night, it will always, always just be an idea until you choose to believe it's possible. You have to believe it so much that you already think it's happened. You have to walk like it's there, talk like it's there, believe it's there. People are gonna think you're mad. They're gonna look at you and think you're insane. They're gonna tell you like, it ain't possible, it's risky, you shouldn't do it, be careful, stick to what you know, stick to what you do, F that, follow your dreams, these people have to see to believe it, but you need to believe it to see it. I was in a tough position, 19 years old, kid on the way, earning 27 pounds a day, I could have chose to focus on all the problems I was going to face, all the pain. Instead, I decided to change my stars. I decided to say enough was enough and focus on ways to change them. It's easy to say that, I'll try that thing tomorrow or I'll do that tomorrow. One day I'll get in shape. One day I'll tell that person how I feel. One day I'll start that business. One day I'll leave this job. One day I'll leave this abusive relationship. We've all had times where we find ourselves constantly telling ourselves that one day we'll do that thing. The problem is, we look at all these opportunities around us and we say they're risky. What you've got to realize is life in itself is risky. It ain't important how long you live, what's important is how you live. When life gets on top of you and you feel like it's all becoming too much, it's easy to let things spiral out of control. I've been there, that place where you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Things don't go your way, that promotion at work you don't get, you don't make the team, that person you asked out said no, your business is struggling, the bills are piling up. We all go through dark times. My advice to you is to focus on finding the light.